People of YouTube, hello and welcome to space. And joining me today in space is Edward. It's Edward Ivan Hicks. Edward Ivan Hicks, the famous uh, video game astronaut and uh, general uh, co-pilot, <laughs> and uh, even more famous, probably space medic. Oh yes, yes. He cures planets. Uh, which is something he may try to do today. Giant band-aids going over <laughs> planets being dropped from orbit. Just boom. Yeah. That's the only way to be sure. <laughs> if you can. It does like a volcano going off of the planet. <laughs> imagine just... a big blast of stuff like a volcano. Boom. You are welcome. <laughs> there will be like no crashed. consequences on the opposite side of the planet from me doing this. <laughs> I wonder if that's how you like move planets around. Yes. In Futurama. <laughs> So we're right. in space. We're in space, and we are going to be looking at um, Rodina, Rodina, or any way you want to pronounce it, which is a game that is in development, but is also accessible to the public now, mm -hmm. uh, as of this week, I think. Right. Um, and it's about space exploration. Uh, Ed Hicks knows nothing about it. He's going to be. He's going to be presenting you. Yeah, I am the f proverbial fish out of water. Exactly. In this scenario. So you got to ask questions that you think the audience would ask. Okay, oh, is... so I'm going to stop asking them silently in my head, like, yeah. what am I, where, where what? is this? <laughs> why <laughs> am I, this man? why am I here? <laughs> oh, uh, right. So, yeah, so this is exploration plus RPG. Cool. Um, and I think we, at first we'll just start the game as if we're just starting the game, and then I'll do a couple of loads that I've, uh, to, so that we don't have to spend too much time actually getting stuff and seeing more of the things that are in the game. Right. So this is in super alpha stage. Um, you can get it from the website. It's going to be linked in the description. Mm -hmm. uh, $15, I think, is the price. Or $2 if you just want the build and not the future builds. Oh, right. Oh, or free for an hour if you just download it. Oh, really? I think that's the deal. So it's either free or this build for um, any time, but no updates, or $15 and you get updates, the final game. All right. And then it's five hundred dollars, and you have a dinner with the guy who made the game. <laughs> okay. You know the usual deal. Yeah, yeah. Right. So the first thing I really enjoyed about the game is, well, music disappeared for some reason, but that's okay. But the first thing I really enjoyed was when I pressed the start. You start. Oh. So that was. I thought that was pretty. That's cool. quite a nice transition. Yeah. I like that. All right. So uh, <clears throat> lone person in space. Yeah. Don't oh no! Wait. We have to confirm who we are. So, SRA0017. I think it's the same for everyone. Oh, you know, really? Okay. I, I acknowledge that. We don't get to change that to... You can. It's getting hacked. It's, it's hackage. Oh. See? Hacks. Your name... Name Aliens. is... Sra. Sra. Sara. Sara. Do you want your name to be Sara? Oh, right. I see. We can change this. No, let's change it to someone else. Let's, uh, space... In the spirit of hacking. Space Ed. Space Ed. <laughs> yes. My Wait. name is Space Ed. <laughs> Hello. Do not revise. Acknowledge. Uh, do you see your limbs? You don't. No, it's. I. I don't know if you will in because you're kind of floating camera at, at this point. And also inertia is in the game, so cool. You kind of. It's not easy to move around. Okay, always. so we're clearly on a less than one G planet. Yeah, this is an asteroid, actually. I okay. think. Uh, the green dot over there yep. is where our ship is. Okay. Um, you shouldn't... Uh, spoilers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also because we know that there's... Uh, you can also tell how there is no gravity. I really... Almost no gravity because if you jump, you go really high. Ah. So it, it's sort of accurate and That's cool because you can kind of scout like that. Yeah, yeah. Something I really like already about yeah. just how the presentation is, is even in, even though you hadn't, you know, if you hadn't told me about the... Um, Spaceship being in that green dot. There's nothing on screen except for it yeah. and this clear interface item. So obviously Absolutely, you're gonna yeah. go straight there. There's no yeah. question. Exactly. It's a and the, the UI in general is, is is very very minimal. There's the ship. Um, I think it should be either open or we have to open it. Ship okay. and um the ship. I'm not sure if the ship is gonna stay that like polygonized or whatever. Low I was gonna say thing. like as far as ship design goes, I was expecting to jump over this ridge and see like something like amazing. But I yeah. suppose. At the same time, you also have to start with something small, but yeah. it does look a bit Tron. Yeah, it is, and but like the planets are more detailed than yeah. the ship. The ship looks cell shaded. Yeah, Am I wrong? so possibly Maybe it's it just is some weird geo. So we, let's get into a ship. You can actually walk into the ship. So I think it's F. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, actually, quite like the you can style. Control the ship from here. If yeah. I were to come here, I could just uh, remotely pilot the ship mm -hmm. or modify the ship layout, which is a thing also. So oh, if I go in here. Whoa. So this is the ship layout. Okay, so suddenly information. Yeah. Um, and uh, you can build walls, etc. So I'm not sure how exactly it works. Let's That's say... A very strange interface. Uh, yeah, see, I built something there. Okay. Uh, is that, like, now built permanently? Is there some resource in the building? Like, is this going to cost you for <laughs> having this big piece of crap in the middle of your way? <laughs> at, at this point, I think no. 
I that, think it's fine. Is that traversable? You can, I can put a bathroom somewhere. Oh, put a bathroom, like, right next to the throne. <laughs> put it in space. Uh, it's a bathroom tile. Oh, okay. Alright. I'm not sure how can I... Let's not this... customize this <laughs> shit. <laughs> Decorations, wait, wait. Light. Just cover this toilet with lights. Make it so that you can't... See? Ooh. It's gonna be really bright in here. Nice. Oh, then we can make some really dark places in yeah. contrast, and that's where the alien can hide. Yeah, exactly. All right. So do I need to save this, or can I just done? Uh, save it. Save it is. Yep. Done. Done. <laughs> okay, right. cool. There's some smoke. Uh, question. Oxygen. Any? Is that a thing? Not a thing at this point, anyway. So this is the inside of the ship. You go into door that way. A barrel! Uh, they're not really functional. They're functional items in here, but not these ones. Uh, let's see if we actually manage to put down the things that we put down. Yeah. I actually do like... This, see, there it is. That's the wall we put built. Ah, uh, it's traversable. That's yeah. good. I do and like the, the uh, internal see? design, actually. It's like a nicer version of Minecraft. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's kind of similar to that. So that's the lights that we have. Yeah. Um, and this should be the control room here, I think. The inside of the ship, I can't help but notice, is much bigger than the outside. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is, isn't it? Uh, this is... Where you get the quests and stuff. Um, Ooh. This is like tells you basically that there's a, either the ship is coming that is colonizing and you need to help them like sort of settle there. And okay. you pick up encrypted communications and it slowly get the message of like what's going on in the uh, game uh, as you land and pick up the information. Cool. But we're not gonna get busy with that at the moment. I think we're just gonna um, just start piloting the ship. Then we're gonna show the, the driving mm -hmm. and then fight someone and then then show the the planet landing and taking off from a plane, which is the coolest part in my opinion. Sounds great. So, it, it just to, uh, you don't pilot, you just go up to the pilot, <clears throat> sorry, station, and there you go, you're in the ship. You are the ship. Um, so we are at, uh, there's four levels of engine, whatever, shift, gear, engine gear, because okay. they, and it, now we are in, um, neutral? Uh, no, 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 there's no neutral. There is neutral, but you have to engage it. Right. Um, uh, docking, yeah, we do whatever okay. strange thing. So if we press that, we lift off, okay, and we can go uh, in all directions. So back, uh, forward, back, uh, back, then left, right, and up or down. Okay. <clears throat> so this is thing? Uh, not at this point again. Uh, so press high mouse to engage the clutch. Yeah. So the clutch is um, that, and it just shows you direction which way you're going. Oh. That's why that thing is there. So oh. you're inertia. See, it's it's kind of, and then the gravity is putting you back right. down. Right, so it's just kind of a visual aid. Yeah, but also when you are in that mode and you go to next level, this is combat speed, you're gonna move much faster. Oh, cool. So at this point in the game, we only have two, um, two uh, gears, I okay. guess that's called so the gears. you're docking in combat speed. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that's why we're gonna sh uh, probably switch to a... Um, a different uh, load okay. and see if we can find an enemy or something like that. So something so I noticed uh, just from looking at our ascent there is obviously there was a big pop between levels of detail. Yeah. I don't mind so much. I, there I, is a bit of popping going on. I'm not sure how much of that is going to stay in the final game, but it is. it can be slightly annoying that that happens. Yeah, I, I can understand why it's there though. It's fine. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if that's something that could get cleaned up, that'd be brilliant. Yeah. But if not, I'm not going to yeah, not buy the game based on that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean? Yeah. So that's like the quest markers in the game. I think at first you have to pick one of those up. Uh, and combat happens like that. There's also supposed to be missiles. So this is like a shotgun yeah. <laughs> equivalent of space gun. Um, <laughs> there's supposed to be missiles. I'm not sure how exactly to switch them when I haven't even tried that. But maybe even not engage in combat this, during this video. Well, let's see. Let's load something different now. That's another question. I don't know if you've yeah. ever seen. So this is clearly ge procedurally generated. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, from Do, can there. you have a seed? So you type, so you, you put something in that's consistent, and then uh, you'll get the exact same world. So then you say, "Oh, let's all work off of the seed." Andro yeah. has a mustache. I and then I, everyone plays. That absolutely, universe. I know what you're talking about. I don't know if that's the case. You know, like, like, like a Spelunky does. Everyone plays the same uh, daily challenge because ah. it's the same seed. Uh, yeah, 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 basically. Yeah, yeah no, that, I don't know if that if that's a thing. Uh, maybe it was somewhere revealed in the developer diaries, but I, I'm, I'm not aware of that. But mm. this is not the one actually I wanted to load. Remember, kids. Descriptive save files. There we go. <laughs> so this is this is the one I was talking about. Um, this is a plan I I already discovered. Um, so I'm not gonna actually. Uh, I think this is where they relegated it. the war games AI. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been playing Nautilus crosses on this planet.
This is the red ones are your enemies, obviously. The the crosses are the um, the quest points or where you can gather resources. Oh, interesting. Um, the, all the resources seem to be very similar. But at this point, I have already unlocked a th uh, all the other drives. Okay. So we're in the docking one. This is the combat one. Yeah. And uh, then this is the cruising one, which is quite faster. And then we also have the like interplanetary kind interplanetary of? thing. So if we were to, for example, go to a different planet, Ooh. which is the question mark over here. Oh hell yeah. Uh, I have to engage the luminal, I think, drive. That's what it's called, oh. and go for it. Is it like? It's sort of unstable in the sense that, like, I, I sometimes. Oh, let's drop out, because there's the planet over there. I think we're gonna miss it. No, no. Oh, we've got we're tons of inertia. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, we got tons of inertia. Uh, at this range, it's probably better to just uh, use the cruising. Um, Gear, yeah, yeah, to just get to it because you can also crash by accident into a plane. I've done that. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can also try and be like very uh, careful and engage luminal drive at this point and be like, whoa, okay, drop out. <laughs> and then, I was gonna ask. That was gonna be my next question. Yeah. How stable is it with like big, quick level detail changes? If you blast past a planet, it's gonna load the planet. Um, there was the twi once I went in, like entirely through the planet yeah. without dying and without taking any damage. The second time I crashed into it. So right. it depends, I think, when you jump out of it. Because I think I, at some point I jumped out of the drive. See, we discovered the planet. Cool. Uh, I think this is the one where I cannot land because I there's a vaguely... Lot of... Oh, there's like a huge space embargo. <laughs> yeah, I, I vaguely remember this planet. And I think uh, this one has acidic atmosphere, and so you cannot land on it. Oh. But what are we going to do is that we can... E employ, not employ rather, but uh, um, find the enemies here and maybe show up some combat after all. Yeah. So I if I go towards this guy, I think he should uh, like come out of sleep and engage me at some point. <laughs> uh, but you cannot shoot while you're in this drive, so you have to drop down to the combat oh, and then, cool. then you can okay. shoot. Okay, so without Wow. Work. Um, let's see if we can get to them, guy. And then, then we'll show the landing, which is also fun, because yeah, you have to enter the atmosphere. And if you go, if your angle is too steep, you'll burn. <laughs> um, but if you, you can, if it's not too steep, you'll still kind of burning, but slowly, so it's safer to do that, etc. <laughs> right. Um, at some point, I guess we'll be close enough to this dude. So yeah, it kind of makes sense because one of the things I was thinking about with the the kind of technical challenges of a game like this, where your scale changes hugely, yeah, is that kind of the, the way that you're going to be calculating things, the numbers Whoa. you're going to be using. There's so many of them. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Oh, this is nuts. Essentially, oh. essentially, I imagine there'd be loads of float errors and things. Oh not, dear. They have missiles. I'm not ready for this. No, uh, oh, oh dear. Oh, we're dead. Oh. It's interesting <laughs> that the particle effects are all squares. Is this like an alpha thing? Like, that's all going to become really I, super I, nice? Because the I, ship doesn't really suit this kind of particle yeah, effect. It's, 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 yeah, it's a bit strange. So I'm not sure how much of that is going to be developed or not, but... Uh, um, Probably it's gonna go to the level of the planets, so there's gonna be the detail is gonna yeah. be similar to the level of the planets, I think. Yeah. All right, let's re reload here. So this is how kind of how combat happens. Right. Because <laughs> the thing is as well though, yeah. I don't have anything personally uh, against the aesthetic of this plane, but it just doesn't fit everything else. Yeah, so it doesn't really fit everything. If you else, made yeah. the ship like that, then you'd be like, yeah. okay, cool, and then it would be a slightly more abstract game. Yeah, it's a sl slight dissonance in terms of like styles, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, right, so you can actually win combat, but this is, I didn't realize... <laughs> it's possible to win combat. Absolutely, I didn't realize that you were gonna, um, they were gonna be using missiles. No. So, whatever, I haven't even explored that much of the game, so to know how the missiles work, so we're gonna go... I think they lock onto you when you die. You probably, yeah. <laughs> no, not here. Okay, after some technical difficulties, we managed to load the one that we wanted to load, and we're gonna attempt an approach to this, um, more or less friendly planet. That's more or less friendly? Yeah, well, in the terms that the atmosphere is actually oh, okay. like okay, it's not gonna kill you. I found that the, the one we found just now where we died, yeah, um, that has an acidic atmosphere, right? So um, we wouldn't be able to land anyway. Yeah, you 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 land, but as you land, you slowly die. So I would love to have this, this map of the world with all my enemies with a little red circle around them. <laughs> but in real life, in real know? life, yeah. <laughs> uh, as we all know, Ed Hicks has a lot of enemies in real life. So many, yeah. Mortal enemies as well. They they basically see him rolling and they're hating. I probably shouldn't roll quite yeah, so often. Maybe all not so loudly, just you know, <laughs> put some rubber on the wheels. Ah, that's why we're in space. No one will be able to hear me rolling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. In space, no one can hear me roll. Um, it does take some time, but it's quite beautiful, in my opinion. I don't know when you wait for the big geo pop. I like the kind of the effect of the surface because yeah, obviously yeah. that's just a complete fractal. Abs uh, yeah, absolutely. 
Um, and so I nice. hope my angle is okay, because at any point now we're gonna start doing. Getting the Whoa! Atmosphere. It's gonna slow down actually slightly. There we oh. go. And the music changes, and we start you burning. Very much look like a Zelda villain. Yeah. No, I I think we're gonna be okay, cause uh, the as long as the angle, like the nose, is not looking at the planet directly. Yeah. I think you're okay Do you to burn. Have any control here? Or? I it's a little bit. I can kind of turn around, but I'm I'm trying not to do that because I'm just like falling. So I'm 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 thinking of this as a controlled falling. There we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, if I, mean, I were to do that like like that, yeah. I would die. You would just yeah. explode. Uh. So we were. So do here. you have the option to like? Do a bit of a burn while that's happening and just have a really slow descent, or is that just not a good idea? Uh, yes, you can have. I mean, faster descent, the other way around. No, no, I mean burn upwards, so that, like burn your uh, thrusters upwards, so that you don't actually come through. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can you can do it even slower. Okay. Yeah, yeah, or you can do it slightly faster and lose some health but get into the planet faster. Right. So that's that's our popping here. I mean, nice. I, yeah, I, I wish the popping was a little was... low, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Do you want to crash into those mountains? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's let's see what happens. Do it in less than 14 parsecs. <laughs> <laughs> let's crash into this one right here. It looks like a solid wall. So, yeah, I suppose if you just... If it was possible to say, listen, give this game as much memory as it wants. Yeah. And you just change... Ooh, <laughs> okay. We took some damage, you can see. It's yeah. Just, yeah. Is that like... When yeah, that bar it goes fills? that way. Yeah, oh, it goes yeah, down. It, yeah, okay. it goes, goes to the center. Cool. Um... It quite nice. I like how the planet looks. I'm not sure if there's that's any. That's really nice. Yeah, yeah, because the atmosphere changes the color. Oh, ah, nice, and that's probably modeled. Yeah, enough, I guess. Um, what we can also do until we um, run out of our space time yeah. for this video, we can show another planet because I discovered another one. I think it should be called the blue one. There blue we go. Blue one. All right, let's load this up. Let's see if that crashes the game. I'm interested to see how much stuff can be on a planet. Like, can it get to the point where it will be? Like a populated civilization, yeah. Like, that sounds like not a, a not realistic. yet. Yeah, not yet. And it's 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 supposed to be fully um, procedural generated. So there's only so much. Oh, we discovered it. Hey, Marina. All right. Wow, we're going fast there. I'm not sure we can land. This, uh, this is the plan. I haven't approached yet. That's a bit like Neptune. And there's no enemies here for whatever reason. Um, menacing sound. So not sure if this is a good place. Let's uh, land right in the sunset strip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, slow down, slow down. Oh, careful, watch it. There we go. Um, still kind of fast. That is fast. They're really huge. Like, it takes you, I think, more or less real amount of time to actually get to the, you know, to the other side. Because <laughs> I tried picking up one marker and then going to the next one, and it was just impossible to get there. Huh. I think this is an ice world, actually. Oh, you can see the trenches now. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, get... Get there then. I want to try and land like 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 I did in last time in that because it does seem like this atmosphere is slightly thicker. Whoa! Whoa! This is actually okay. Burning. For now. I was gonna keep falling like that. Yeah, we're gradually turning upside down. Yeah. It's very Christmas. It's sort of green, red. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> this is what Santa's doing right now. Christmas ice world. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, he comes from the ice world of whatever. <laughs> I like this kind of landing. It's like effortless. <laughs> are we are going to survive? Yeah, we're not even being damaged. Mm -hmm. We done it. We did it. Done oh, did it. Cool. So it was much easier than last time. Yeah. Yeah, see, it is the ice world. Nice. With giant canyons, and let's go to maybe over that one. Wow, this is really bright. Ah. Jesus. Like, I guess, well, it is, you know, how the ice world should look. Beyond a certain point of brightness, though, would ice be able to form? Because wouldn't it be getting melted by photons? Reflected back to the space? No, I guess, yeah, I don't know. to an extent. There's the canyon. Woo! Yeah. That's good. Space. We're in space. You wouldn't think it from the color palette, but we are super in space. Um. um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's fall from the canyon into the thing. All right. Wait. God, this is. I guess the distance is huge. Because it's when I'm shifting to the combat gear. Oh, oh. Land. 
That's quite an inter I quite like fucking hell. Dude. <laughs> oh, he died. A little bit. Nah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite death screens I've ever seen. <laughs> Rolling around in death. Never mind the Resident Evil one. Yeah. This one's the one. You died. Fix, I, I could fix player and put him inside the ship. I wonder if that works. Do it. Maybe it will undead me. Let's try it. Or, or I'll kill the game. No, it doesn't do it if you're right. if you're dead, I guess. Well. If you get separate from your ship, you can just do fix player and then uh. this gets in the ship. <laughs> but um, yeah. So, well, we'll jump from the game. The ship has landed. <laughs> <laughs> can I get out? Oh, <laughs> oh man! <laughs> this is like the beginning of Gods will be watching. Yeah, I, I think. <laughs> I think we can end here. I think this is a good. I think this is a good spot. Good, to good end ending. It. So we saw three different kinds of planets. We died from the. Uh, In three different kinds of ways. Three different kinds of ways. Uh, no, two. Two? Well, one of them was a crash. <laughs> Like a this, wait, software this, crash. Oh yeah, well yeah, I guess yeah. Well, that's not gonna be in the video, so. No, no. Yeah. no. Believe me, it happened. It happened, yeah. So we died two <laughs> different ways in on, in the video, um, and I think we more or less explained how the things work. Yeah. Um, there should be a lot more stuff added later on. Yeah. And again, the website is in the description. If it's not, then you should remind us that yes. it's not in the description. And we hope that you enjoyed this demonstration of Rodina or Rodina. I certainly did. And see, and Ed was your representative today here, so which means you must like. It. <laughs> Okay, so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Right, bye.